I'm Mary, and the Favorite Kids team and I are so happy to have you here. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to our series, From the Inside Out. Before we begin, we'd love for you to do a couple of things. First, invite your friends and family to watch this episode with you and share this link. Hey, it's always better together. You can play the games together, laugh at the jokes together. <laughs> Worship God together and even talk about your feelings. Second, subscribe right here to our YouTube channel and hit that bell button so that you get updated when we have a new episode or even a surprise video just for you. So are you ready for today? We've got a great service prepared so get in the mood for fun. And always remember, it's a great day to be a favorite kid. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit emotional. But hey, we're gonna talk all about that here at Favorite Kids TV. See ya! worshiping God together. So stand up on your feet, jump, dance, and sing along with us. You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm sad, I know, and then you are with me, yeah you are with me. trust you yeah i can trust you you don't want perfection you just want my best and when my mind is racing you will give me rest god is greater greater than my feelings he knows everything everything God is greater greater than my feelings he knows everything he knows everything you know when I'm lonely you know when I'm tired I know and then you are with me yeah you are with me you know when I'm worried you know when I'm mad I know and then I can trust You will give me rest God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything, He knows everything God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything, He knows everything you are greater than all I feel. You know it all and you always will. I trust in you with all that I've got. Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not. Woo! You are greater than all I feel. You know it all and you always will. I trust in you with all that I've got. Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not. Woo! God is greater, God is greater, greater than, than, my than my feelings. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. God is greater. God Let's continue to worship. This is a new song. Come sing with us. You can raise your hands. Start worshiping.
Have you watched the movie Inside Out? If yes, great! No? 
Don't you worry, I'm going to share a little bit about it. The movie Inside Out introduces us to world that supposedly exists inside our minds. There, we meet five characters. Anger, disgust, fear, sadness, and joy, who help a young girl named Riley to deal with the challenges in her life. The end of the movie took us into the heads of other characters, including Riley's parents, a boy who finds Riley pretty, a bus driver, a dog, and even a cat. It left many people wondering, what do these five emotions look like in my own head? Last week, we started with the fiercest emotion, anger. And we're gonna continue to learn more about how to deal with this emotion. Anger probably comes off looking like the most destructive emotion, but anger has a purpose, just like joy and the others. Anger can lead us to take action, to stand up for injustice, and to do what is right. But anger needs to be managed in a way that honors God. How do we deal with anger? Well, we're going to learn about that in a bit. Kids, are you ready to meet anger again? Let's watch this. Hello and welcome to Meet Your Emotions, the talk show where we get to meet the emotions. Today, we will be asking our emotions inside of us. Yes? Some questions to get to know him. You better. bet I'm super amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we have 20 questions lined up and you have five seconds to answer each. So let's get started. Better not be wasting my time. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Hot or cold? Hot. Sunny or rainy? Sunny. A handshake or fist bump? Fist bump. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Octopus or squid? What? <laughs> Just a little joke. Just a joke. Math or science? I'm Math. Oh, okay. <laughs> Recess or lunch? Both. Because I can do both. Oh, <laughs> what a cute answer. Basketball or football? Football, because I can hurt everybody. Ooh. And it's legal. Dangerous. <laughs> Boxing or wrestling? Again. Both, so I can beat up people. Okay. Swimming or hiking? Swimming. Volcanoes or caves? Volcano. Sore loser or crybaby? None. Because okay. I beat them both up. Violet. Shoes or slippers? Shoes. Beach or mountain? Beach. Yep. Fruits or veggies? None. Oh, he's not a healthy eater. <laughs> Hawaiian pizza? Or normal pizza. I hate Hawaiian pizza. Okay. That's a, one of the things that make me angry the most. Okay, let's go. Left or right? I'm not even gonna answer that question. I didn't think. Uh, chocolate or broccoli? You seem to like broccoli a lot. You were sure shouting it. Stop it. Okay. No, no, or no, sub. You know what? That's it. I'm out of here. Up or down? Oh. All right, I guess that's the wrap. I will see you guys again here next week. Bye! Wow, okay. Mary, I hope you're okay. Well, Inger, thank you for visiting us again. I hope you had fun. Anyway, as he said, with great anger comes great responsibility. And another word for that is self-control. So, for today's challenge, we got some of our favorite kids to do the Don't You Dare Move Challenge. Let's watch this. Okay, so this challenge is called Don't You Dare Move. So there's gonna be five rounds, and the one who sits tail until the end of the game will win. Anything. Okay, can you share some, some tips? Close your eyes so you can't see. <laughs> Think, is the prize really worth it? I hear something. I hear noises. I'm scared. Uh, what if this is all a trick and they're just trying Ew, I to? I feel something. I, feel something. I, I felt something. I felt. I felt something. Cockroaches. Round one is. 
Bubbles. Why would we move for bubbles? I really want a bubble. Um. Are you ready for round two? Yes. Congrats to you! You were definitely good at self-control with the things that distracted you in the game. But kids, what about real life? How should we practice self-control in actual situations that happen in our lives? Let's find out! Today, we saw Rico feeling angry about something Lorenzo had said. He was so angry that he just wanted to prove them all wrong no matter what it looked. Lorenzo was really mean but Rico probably should have spoken to him and probably asked for help. Anyone here ever been angry about something someone else said or did? Me too. But when we don't take time to deal with those feelings of anger, just like Rico, we may end up doing or saying something that hurts ourselves or others. That's why we have to stop and deal with how we feel. One way to do this is to take a break, walk away for a minute, and come back when we can have some self-control. Step two is also important. Look! Looking helps us to see what's really going on around us. When we're feeling angry, we also need to follow step three. Who remembers 
what step three is? That's right, it's listen. Listening to what God says is very important when dealing with how we feel, especially when we're feeling really angry. When I find myself letting anger to take control of my thoughts and actions, I can always go to my Bible. It helps me to remember the truth. In the story we're about to hear, we'll find out about a guy who had some people saying seriously mean things to him. But let's take a look at what he chose to do about it. Let's watch this. Hey everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Aw oh, yeah, what you got for us today? Well, have you ever been so angry with someone that you wanted to get revenge? Oh yeah, like when my skateboard got stolen last year. I wanted to find out who it was and make them pay. Uh-huh, and what happens when you feel this way? My insides start to boil and I feel like I want to explode! That's exactly what we're talking about today. Explosions? Uh, more like how to avoid feeling that way. Today, we're going to talk about anger and how we can defuse the anger bomb with self-control. I see what you did there. Clever, I know. <laughs> Anyways, there's a book in the Bible called Nehemiah, and it's all about a guy named Nehemiah. So what's Nehemiah got to be angry about? He's got a whole book named after him. He actually had a lot of reasons why he could have been angry. You see, Nehemiah had gotten some really bad news. The wall in his hometown of Jerusalem had been torn down, and the gates were burned with fire. This meant that all of their enemies were able to sneak in and take whatever they wanted. Okay, that's something to be angry about for sure. Nehemiah prayed to God and decided to rush back home to Jerusalem to help rebuild the wall. He knew he couldn't do it alone, so he rallied everyone in the town to come help. Can we rebuild it? Yes, we can! Here's the problem. There were lots of mean people who did not want to see the wall go back up. One of them was named Sandballot. Wait, there was a guy named Sandollar? Uh, no, Sandballot. Oh, gotcha, Sandcastle. No, Sandballot. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Sandballot had all sorts of mean things to say to Nehemiah. Oh, and I bet Nehemiah had some mean things to say right back to him. Oh yeah, well... Actually, Nehemiah didn't say anything mean back to him. He prayed to God and kept working. Sanballat did not like this and got more people to make fun of everyone who was working on the wall. Sanballat and his gang even threatened to kill the workers. I bet that made Nehemiah turn so green. Oh, smash! Not quite. Instead of fighting back, he asked God to deal with the people who were making him angry. God helped Nehemiah have self-control. And even though he was bullied and had lots of reasons to be angry or get revenge, he stayed focused on God's help and rebuilt the wall in record time. Wait a second. Nehemiah found out the wall was torn down. He was made fun of. His life was even threatened. And even though he may have been angry, he was able to stay calm and have self-control? Yep, that's exactly right. You see, we'll all experience anger, but it's what we do when we are angry that can help or hurt the situation. So when I don't get what I want, or if someone makes fun of me, I might get angry, but it's how I respond that makes a huge difference. That's right. Or if someone is angry with me, I don't have to be angry back at them. You got it. When we feel anger creeping in, God will give us self-control. Whoa. Whoa, those guys were saying some awful things to Nehemiah, and it made him mad. Or well, like what Lorenzo did to you? Yeah, again. Well, Nehemiah didn't let his anger get out of control. Instead, he focused on what God had told him to do and kept working. When we're feeling angry, we need to come up with a plan to deal with that anger. Well, hmm, what should we do? Well, today I learned that we can stop and take a break. That's right. And then we can look at what's going on around us so that we don't do or say anything that can hurt others. Because when we listen, to the truth, we'll remember that God gives us self-control. That's right, Rico. Whenever we're feeling angry, we should remember that God has given us self-control. We need to do what is mm. right. And that's what we need to know today. Everybody say this with me. When I feel angry when and I, I feel want to fight, and I want to fight, God, God helps me, helps to me do what is right. To do what is right. Okay, let's do that again. Again. Okay. Again. When I feel angry and I want to fight, God helps me to do what is right. 
Great job, kids. Great job, Rico. That's right. When we feel angry and we want to fight, God helps us do what is right. We can remember Nehemiah's story and know that God gave him the self-control to keep working and not let his anger get the best of him. God does the same thing for us when we're feeling angry. That's right, Rico. I agree with what you said. Okay, kids, before we end, and I hope that you learn something today, let's pray together. God, thank you for giving us self-control that we need every time we feel angry. Help us remember to stop, look, and listen when our anger gets out of control and to ask you, God, for your forgiveness if we let the anger get the best in us. Lord, we love you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for helping me remember those things, Pastor Bell. That's right. That when you're angry and you, you want, want to fight, fight God, God help helps us to us do, do what is right. right. Well, Rico, you are always welcome. And I hope that you learned something today as well. Yeah. All right. We have to say goodbye to our kids. See you next week, kids. Bye. Bye. Kids, did you have fun? You better have had fun. The Paper Kids experience is the best. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on our videos. In fact, you go and tell your parents to share this link and check out our social media over here. Did you go and tell them? Aside from this, we also have connect groups every week where you can meet new friends. We talk about what we learned here and we talk about God and it's so fun and we play lots of games, so don't miss it. Always remember that God has amazing plans for you. Even if you get angry, he loves you and you can learn self-control, okay? See you again next time here at Favorite Kids TV. Bye!